Good morning. My name is Doug Humphrey. I'm the senior pastor here at Triangle Community Church, and I want to welcome you here as well. Um, you know, it's been very clear to me that from the beginning, God's hand has been on our church. In fact, last week we reminisced a little bit together and shared how in 16 years God has grown our church from eight people to nearly a thousand. And God continues to bring people our way. In fact, this Sunday, or this Easter, to accommodate that continued growth, we're going to be going to three services. We talked about it a little bit last week. There'll be an 8.30 service, a 10 o'clock service, and an 11.30 service. Now, in order to help us make those services successful, I'm going to need your help. Two things. One, I'm going to ask some of you, especially at this service, to commit to attending the 8.30 service. And then I want you to, to, to serve at the next service. But really for all of us, our whole church... We need everyone to commit to attending one service and serving at another. Right now, there's no way with our present, the way we serve right now, it'd be impossible for us to meet all the needs that we have if we only serve every once in a while. So I'm going to ask you to pray about, is there some way that we could attend one service and serve the next? You know, all these people that keep coming to TCC, you're some of them, if you think about it, one of the reasons you came is because someone invited you. Is that right? Someone invited you. In fact, we think that's our most important growth strategy. We call it our invest and invite strategy. What it simply means is this. You invest your life in the lives of your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers. You invite them to church where they can come to see people who are living out their faith in Christ with the hopes that they too will come to know him personally. That's what many of you have done. In fact, we have a couple here with us today, Jimmy and Tiffany Stopper, who exemplify that invest and invite strategy. They're going to share a little bit about their story and how they've seen God use them as they invested their friends to TCC. This is Jimmy and Tiffany Stopper. Good morning. Hey, like I said, my name is Jimmy. This is my wonderful wife, Tiffany. And we have four uh, beautiful, wonderful children. You can see them up there. Emma, she's seven years old. Then we got Luke, five, Nate, three. And Seth's 18 months. I don't know if you can tell from the pictures who we root for or what team we like, but we're huge Carolina Panther fans. You probably see us running around, uh, running around here with our jerseys on sometimes on Sunday mornings during the season. But we have been coming to Triangle Community Church for about seven years now. It has been an amazing place for us as we've seen God work in mighty ways in our lives and in many, many people's lives that have come here. And I would say about six years ago, uh, we had a yard sale at our house. And the one thing I love about Triangle Community Church, it is a great place to invite non-Christians or people that are trying to find a church home. It's a great, safe, warm, welcoming place. So we had a yard sale at our house, and uh, my wife is like a stealth yard sailor. She's extreme. She's up all night mapping out her routes, where she's going to go first. She gets up early in the morning, it's dark, and she's there getting the good stuff. Well, we had a yard sale at our house, and um, basically we had a little table. And uh, at this table, we had free sodas, and we had some flyers um, inviting people to Triangle Community Church. Uh, real simple. We had a lot of people come to our yard sale um, that day, that Saturday, and one couple that we met that actually lived in our development, we didn't even meet them before, uh, their names was Andy and Rebecca, and they came, we talked to them for a little bit, and uh, basically they were heading out, and I looked down, and there was no uh, flyers left at the table, so I said, hold on, stay right here, I'm going to be back, I got something for you, so I ran to, my, uh, ran to my vehicle, and for those of you guys that know me, I'm digging through my vehicle, trying to find a flyer, you know, I'm in there for like three, four, five minutes, I finally come up, I'm holding it, I run back out there, I'm saying, here you go, hey, we'd love for you to come out and check our church out. So fast forward several months, I'm back at church here, dropping my daughter off at Noah's Landing, and um, I run into this lady, and she seems to know who I am, she says hi. And I think to myself, I have no idea who you are. Um, after having four children, these moments happen to me more often than I'd like. Um, but anyway, I went home that day, rolling her face around in my mind, trying to figure out, where do I know this person from? Talked to Jimmy about her. And we put two and two together and realized it was Rebecca, the person that bought our running stroller from us at our yard sale. So we were real excited that, if nothing else, they were checking out our church. Um, continue on several more months. Um, it was the fall of 2003, 
and we were having a grand opening celebration for this building that you're sitting in right now. So it was a very exciting time in the life of our church. Um, we had a series of events on a weekend in September, and one of those events was Beth Moore was coming to speak at our church. For those of you that don't know Beth Moore, she's a very popular Bible study teacher and speaker, so we were very excited to have her here, and the community was excited, and I guess you could say it was one of the hottest tickets in town. I had my tickets, my friends had their tickets, and I had one ticket left. So I thought, Lord, who do you want me to give this ticket to? started praying about it, and God just kept bringing Rebecca to my mind. And immediately I had all these objections. I don't know who this person is. I've talked to her twice. I don't even know her last name. I don't even know how to track her down. But as we kept talking about it and praying about it, I just really felt like this is who God wanted me to call. And as I thought through my objections, I thought, what if she says no? You know, rejection, fear of rejection. And then I thought, what if she says yes? That maybe is even a little more scary. Um, Beth Moore is a very intense speaker, and I didn't know where Rebecca was spiritually, and I thought, we could scare her away in one fell swoop that night. So anyway, I did end up calling her, and uh, she did say yes. And so we got a group together and came together and had an awesome night. And uh, I didn't know Rebecca very well, obviously, but she was very quiet that night. And at the end, I lost track of her. And I realized that she went backstage to talk to Beth Moore. So I knew at that moment that God was doing something really special in her life. Uh, you are not going to want to miss it. You're going to want to come back next week because you're going to hear from Andy and Rebecca themselves sharing their story of what God is doing in their lives. And it's an incredible story you're not going to want to miss. Make sure you come back next week. And that's just the beginning of several weeks that are going to follow where you're going to hear more families, more lives touched uh, by God through TCC. So thanks a lot for letting us share.